Okay, I struggled to get this right for a long time yesterday, but I finally got there. And right now it doesn't look right, and right now it just looks weird because it's only cardboard and stuff, but I want to trace them all so that I can have a, a template before I glue these pieces together. So, I'm going to do that. Now, I was so confused and my brain just wouldn't put them together properly and stuff. It was just crazy. I just kept doing it in reverse and stuff. When I was little, we had this set of ornaments for the tree that there were different shapes in the set and this was one of my favorite ones and there were also in the same set there were also some just some normal regular balls and there was some there was I think it was four birds the birds were pretty neat and anyway I really loved that set and I don't know where that set is now but anyway <laughs> it's a lot easier today to just trace around them by the time I got this far yesterday I just couldn't bring myself to trace them like this because I was I was just done. <laughs> okay, those are the pieces for the front. Mm, this one's a little bit hard to trace. So I just made my own pattern. These are the ones for the back. Anyway, I don't think you need to see me trace all of them. I'll be, right. I'll be back. And then, of course, I would cut them all out. But since I have the other ones, I'm not going to do this right now because I have lots I need to do today. So I'm running out of time and stuff. So I am just going to glue these together for now. I think I already said, but um, yeah, I, I just made this pattern up for myself. I didn't, so it's, I mean, it's not perfect. It's obviously handmade, but okay, this one's supposed to be slightly smaller, but for some reason it isn't. It'll be okay though. That's just PPA I'm using. I'm assembling the front right now. The pieces are very similar to each other. They're just a tiny bit different than a tiny bit smaller tapering so that they will I think I didn't quite taper it enough there. It would probably be easier if I 
painted or did whatever I'm going to do to them before gluing them together but I'm not sure what I'm doing yet so I'm just going to start by gluing them so that they don't keep falling apart and toppling over before I lose everything. to create a hanger. Lots of glue right there. Hopefully that will be enough. I think I'm going to also put some tape and then more glue on top of the tape. That's kind of dumb. I think the, if I had waited for the glue to dry, but anyway, it's okay. I'll just leave it. Okay, and then right. I was supposed to put the glue on this piece, not on that one, because then I'll have excess everywhere. Maybe it's just weird looking, but whatever. I don't even know where I'm going to put this when I'm done.
Okay. Not perfect by any means. But hopefully good enough. Okay, I have two can bottoms here. going to attempt cut so that I have just that bit it's not easy and I've got Stuff that could hurt me. I'm finding that it's easier to do it in little pieces like that as opposed to going all the way around. This might be a project fail, but we'll see. I want to leave that one there. See if I can fold it over right there. No, I guess not. Maybe, maybe I can do it that way, but then I have the wrong side exposed. Oh, there we go. Do this to this one as well. Okay, this one worked better, especially with that part. Um, so the idea that I have is that I'm going to I'm going to fold that one over a little bit more. If I can, it's not wanting to let me. There we go, got it. Oh man. Okay, I suppose that you could leave it just like that, but I'm not going to. Okay. 
Now, if I had something like A6, A6000, that's probably what I would use. But I don't. So I'm going to see if the glossy accents will, will do what I need it to. It probably won't, but we'll see. Now, as I've said many times before when using stuff like, when using pop can parts, you got to be very careful, you could hurt yourself, you should be using protective gloves and such. Having other ideas like you could just so it mm, no I'm gonna leave it okay um you could make it so that it opens up like a locket and you could put a picture inside or something Okay, looks like glossy accents will not work, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, there, I'm gonna just leave it and see if it, if it does better when it's drying, once it's dry, and if it doesn't, then I'll try, I'll try uh, hot glue which probably won't work either, but we'll see. Okay, it did actually work. I mean, I wouldn't want to handle it too roughly and stuff, but it worked. So that's kind of cool. So I have an ornament for my tray. I can leave it just like that. I, I could put a ribbon around it or something. I haven't really decided if I'm doing anything more to it or not. I could cover it with stays on ink or something like that. I don't know if alcohol inks would stay on it or, or not. But anyway, um, there you go. And this one is dry, but I haven't done anything more to it yet. And so, yeah, if if I if I ever do get around to doing anything else with either of these, I will I will do it another video.